Anderson Street, Mbombela's Red Light District. The usually bustling street is much quieter now. Some sex workers have returned. This 20-year-old started working as a minor. The situation is really bad, from the police preventing us to work. I just wish they could open our industry so we can feed our families. I don't think we will get corona. Project Dignity Foundation is assisting them to stay afloat. As for me, it's not easy to send money at home because I don't get nothing and I'm scared like, to go out because of the coronavirus. Thanks for the organization because they try to give us some food parcels. This foundation slowly restoring their dignity. We realized that everybody was taking care of everybody else except the sex workers on the street. So what we did now, we work closely with partners here and also from our minimal budget as Project Dignity Foundation where we said let us provide them with food parcels that have food, food parcels that have toiletry to make sure that during this lockdown their human dignity is restored and also there are instances whereby we got sponsorship where we were able to give them stipends of 200 rands. Nontlandla was rescued by the foundation seven years ago after six years in the industry. She's a link between the sex workers and the foundation. Then she asked my daughter why she wanted to be. My daughter said she wanted to be like me, a poet. She didn't know but I was in the street. So that hits me. But like my daughter being abused like me in the streets at night, that's how I changed my life. I wanted to be a better mother to her than a sex worker. Like sometimes I help them through my social, like through social workers. If they want to come out or if they want to go back to school, like those kind of information I provide them. Spare a thought for an industry marred by abuse. For many, this is their single lifeline that is slowly being eroded. Dumela Machoho, SABC News, Mbombela.